Mike Robin, it's Bram. I run the Schoolhouse Theater. Um, got something for you, it's from Hamlet, Act 3, Scene 2. Uh, the speech to the players. Speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of your players do, I had as leaf, the town crier, spoke my lines, nor do not saw the air too much thus with your hands, but use all gently. For in the very torrent, tempest, and as I may say, wind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that may lend it smoothness. Oh, it offends me to the soul to hear a robustious periwig-painted fellow tear a passion to tatters, to rags, to split the ears of the groundlings, who for the most part are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. It out Herod's Herod. I would have such a fellow whipped for or doing termagant. Pray you avoid it. Be not too tame, neither, but let your own discretion be your tutor. Suit the action to the word, the word, the action, with this special observance that you o'erstep not the modesty of nature. For anything so ordone is from the purpose of playing, whose end at the first and now was and is to, 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 Hold, as twere, the, the, the mirror up to nature to show virtue. Virtue, virtue, her own feature, scorn, their own image and the very age and body of the time, its form and uh, pressure. Now, this or done or come tardy off, though it make the unskillful laugh, cannot but make the judicious grieve, the censure of which one must, in your allowance, away a whole theater. 